I'd like to take this occasion to thank all of the Periscope live stream community that engaged with me in January and February of 2020 on this Vietnam quest. Je voudrais remercier la communauté Periscope qui a participé avec moi durant cette tournée au Vietnam. Uh, Louis, Louis, I won't even bring up the subject because we're not uh, we're not shopping for ivory, and we don't want to know about ivory. There is bone, there is bone, but uh, I didn't see any ivory per se. I've seen uh, uh, cattle bone uh, things, but uh, not ivory. Check is not in the mail. Okay, so my friend's not buying. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so I I paid for this. This I, I cannot afford. No? No. So uh, I, I've known that for at least uh, 30, 40 years that uh, antique ivory is, is illegal, yes. So we have his, uh, his uh, business card. So this was just a wander in and um, I, did was, I was looking for a perfume bottle for a client and I found it and it really does look like it's um, imagery from Vietnam. It does not look Chinese. It actually looks Vietnamese. So it's appropriate that I pick up. Yeah, it could be like a small snuff bottle, but he said perfume bottle. And in fact, my uh, designer collects perfume bottles. Hers are more feminine and dainty. So this is going to be a little masculine touch to her collection. Ah, okay. Uh, so this is probably the emperor who uh, won against oh, the Ming yeah, Chinese. Yeah. No, Vietnam. Vietnam. Vietnam? Yeah. yeah, but he won against the Ming yeah, Chinese. He so defeated Vietnam, the Vietnamese. Yeah. Okay, so this thing here is Vietnam. Um, so there was a, a, is that Guangzhou? I don't know, Louis Louis. We could always ask him. He seems to be extremely knowledgeable. And he seems to have a lot of time on his hands, although he is with a client. Guangzhou? Yeah, King Vietnamese. King Vietnamese? Yes. Okay. That's all I got. Uh, I'm not able to get more specifics out of him, but I'm keeping his card because he's a, he's a marvelous uh, host, very generous with his time, not difficult to bargain with at all. Um, thank you, Louis. So I'm going to start putting my things away. And because of tripod here, I love this old table. Yes, good shopkeeper, exactly. I uh, I used to work in an antique shop. J'ai travaillé chez un antiquaire quand j'étais jeune. Oui. Thank you. This one, no? No. I doubt. So I don't think he's done with me yet. <laughs> But uh, same here, I, I sell antiques now. Oh, that's good to know, Louis, Louis. And uh, thank you for the compliment. I, I saw you gave me one earlier. You said I was a good shopper. That's mighty fine. So I got to process this uh, so that I don't uh, forget where I put it. Sellers are never done with you. <laughs> yes, that is the case. So I'm going to put it in my satchel just uh, to keep it safe. So we're going to wander outside, but I have to say hi, uh, goodbye to his mother. So he's disappeared, but his mother is still with us. So uh, yes, it is. It, it looks like a Vietnamese um, uh, greenery, and I'm going to get myself down to her level so she can maybe see. So, Xin Chao in, in Camun. She seems absolutely sweet. So. <laughs> So there are our friends that are saying hi. So a uh, happy new year. She's, I like her smile. Anyway, this made my day. This, this made my day. And the gentleman. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hello, uh, Frankie Wu. So I'm able, I was able to get something off my list uh, as a gesture to somebody who's very nice to me. Uh, throughout the year who was very cool when I told her I would not be available for a little while all she said to me was call me when you get back so she gets a little thank you present and I went through all of that uh, so bonus for me and you guys 
Uh, I really liked that uh, encounter in there. Uh, there was nothing sleazy about the man. There was no pressure in there. It was just a lovely transaction and I loved everything that he showed me. I'm in Hanoi, Vietnam. You are making my day. Tour of the shop is great. I know, I know. Uh, I have, uh, I like this. Uh, this is a New Year's celebration. And I have been avoiding going into tourist trap shops. So that, I liked all the dust in there. All the patina. All the patina on the things was real stuff. So it wasn't like uh, tourist tchotchkes that, the, you know, they have a brand new one to replace the one they just sold. His stock looked like it's been in there for 20, 30 years. And his prices were very reasonable. Sorry, I saw some... Uh, um, no, not quite Vietnamese omelets that I know of, but I have had egg. I've had quail eggs and salads. I've had uh, chopped up eggs in uh, something called uh, a Hanoi dumpling. And uh, I've had uh, a New York bagel with an egg and, uh, you know, uh, cheese and uh, ham. But I haven't had a Vietnamese omelet yet. I'm here for a while, so we're going to work on it. We're going to get to it. There's a lot to do. There's a lot to country. Vietnam. Vietnam. Maybe if I say it slower. Vietnam. We're in Vietnam. Hanoi, the capital. OK. Good. So it's New Year's Eve. Uh, the omelets are thin with meat in it. You wrap it in lettuce and dig in sauce. Okay, dipping sauce, yes. I love all the dipping sauces uh, you can get. You are an expert. Well, I'm an equal opportunity omnivore, but not as, uh, as uh, well, uh, well versed as, uh, let's say, Dave and Osako. Dave and Osako is very adventurous with what he eats. Bad joke, but uh, is the Hilton still there? Yes, I was. I did. I was taken to jail. My 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 uh, driver took me to jail maybe five days ago. So I was taken to jail. I gave my respects to uh, to um, I don't know if it's Captain McCain at the time when he was shot down. Yes, I was at the Hanoi Hilton. And uh, it was a French, uh, it was a French pr uh, a prison established by the French before it got taken over by the, uh, the communist government. So there's an older history going further back during colonial times where the local Vietnamese were really experienced hardships in that prison. And uh, so he's having a bami. That's a typical sandwich. And uh, yes. And it's still a communist country, but um, it doesn't really feel communist because nobody, uh, nobody is spying on anybody. Nobody's telling on anybody. Nobody's being made to disappear in the middle of the night. You don't have any of that happening in this country. Um, so it's not a repressive regime. It actually seems to be a regime that is here for the people. And uh, they're doing the best they can. And it seems to be working, but it's also very capitalistic. It feels more communist in Cambodia. I, I possibly, possibly because Cambodia is such a poor country with little, uh, less resources and no manufacturing, and they're not as uh, mercantile, they're not as uh, capitalistic. Look at all these businesses. These are all individually family-owned businesses. Um, so whatever taxes they pay, you know, they pay them. Um, and apart from that, uh, there's no like uh, indoctrination of, uh, I'm not, I haven't seen anybody goose-stepping, you know, this is not North Korea. 
Uh, people are just living their lives. And as far as I can tell, the government is staying out of their business. They are just not in their business. Nobody's looking over their shoulder. They're just raising their family like normal people everywhere else. Well, sure. Yeah. Yes, I'm Bill. And as a as a, a foreigner, I have been made to feel welcome here. I have not felt strange or uh, targeted or awkward or I haven't had a thi untoward thing happen to me the entire time I've been here. And today is smog free. There, is, there isn't as much smog as uh, there normally is because we've had about three days of consecutive rain and the air is actually breathable and you can see it on the people's faces. I mean, uh, mostly you wear these when it's very smoggy or you're in a lot of traffic. Yes, I've had faux back home in Montreal, but I've had faux here as well. And I've had Balmese back home and here as well. Oh, wait a minute. We're back at, uh, so actually, I was heading this way and I got distracted. So we're gonna go on the other side of the street and head back because uh, actually where I'm staying is in that direction. Uh, I just forgot what direction I hit that little uh, uh, antique shop, which was a nice find. So I love serendipity. I had no intention of uh, tchotchke shopping except for uh, one specific item. And I'm glad that they went to that gentleman's shop. He had a nice way about him and he had the sweetest mother sitting in the chair who was uh, who gave me the one the best greeting I got the entire day thank you Louis Louis uh, it does you get lost I know I get lost I I get lost in the sense of direction uh, I could be very close to uh, where I'm staying and I wouldn't know it uh, that's why I use my uh, my phone and uh, Google Maps actually works better. Actually, Google Maps, forget about Apple Maps. Apple Maps does not work here. It's just, it's just uh, not, there are too many uh, false, false directions you get with Apple Maps. Warning of the virus? Well, not here. I mean, we know that uh, in uh, Wuhan, China, they quarantined, the, uh, I don't know, the whole city, but Wuhan has been quarantined. And, uh, you know, they're, uh, I'm sure the, uh, the World Health Organization out of Switzerland is on the case. Uh, they're probably working very closely with the Chinese because they probably learned their lesson the last time when SARS hit and uh, they were trying to hide it. And that didn't help. It made things more complicated so we'll see if they learned from the their past mistakes ah okay well that's good so hopefully it will contain it and give the World Health Organization enough time to study exactly what the virus is and hopefully like people will not get on planes and start exporting it all over the world like the last time when SARS uh, hit uh, because like a big city like Toronto suffered uh, extreme uh, financial hardship. It was even put on a do not uh, f uh, go list because of SARS. Uh, 